Hello traders and welcome to your later than usual trading video. My name is Dez here at Grok Trade. I'm Mentor Senior Analyst and it is Tuesday, August 16th, 2011. What we have here is the Dow in turbulent trading, finally ending up the day down 77 points. So it's down 0.67%, the S&P down about 1%. More than that on the NASDAQ, down 1.24%. The Russell's down almost 2%. The bank down 1.5%. VIX ticking upward 3%. Gold is up, silver is up. U.S. dollar break even slightly to the upside, but crude oil down quite a bit, down 1.14%. And a sharp sell-off in transportation index. So with this, this is what we had. This big breakdown. This huge volume at the lows. We rise on dissipating volume. You can see that if I go to the E-mini futures. Big, big volume. Dissipating volume. And then a looks like a short-term top taking place here. If I go back to the S&P. You have both a tweezer top. And also a bearish harame and even partly a th bearish thrusting pattern. But we did close under 1,200, which is a big, big number to close below. And the question is, will there be any follow through? What I'm looking for going into tomorrow is the question is, will we go lower than 1178? Will we get a lower than 1180, namely below 1178 and will we close there if so we could get a pretty sharp sell off the question would be what type of sell off will we get and will we make new lows if that sell off were to come to fruition so that's where we're at and here in a few days i will be taking a little bit of a sabbatical from trading videos however they will continue we do have other individuals to be helping and teaming up with the trading videos and uh, you'll be excited to hear from some of them, uh, so, especially some of you that have been around a long time. You'll hear a familiar voice. So anyway, so wish all of you the very best out there in the markets. If you are long in anything, make sure that you get your stop losses put in place. Matter of fact, I stopped out of almost every one of my longs today. They are now gone out of my hands after a nice little pop taking those profits and feeling I'm quite fortunate to even have those profits because we didn't know how long uh, this little pop would be. And it looks like we're starting to stall already. So anything can happen. Remember, we do have some news coming out on PPI in the CPI. So big week for news. Take care and very safe trading to each and every one of you.